Motivation. That's what we're going to talk about today on Strength for Today. This is Tuesday, July the 29th, Bible study. Today at 11 a.m. in 2 Peter. And visitation tonight at 6.30 p.m. Let's go out in the highways and hedges. We talked about yesterday dedication to instruction, learning. How learning will sustain you. And then when you learn, you'll be motivated. Proverbs chapter 18, 15 a says, The heart of the prudent. What keeps a person motivated to study the Word of God? And to love the Lord and to serve Him. It's motivation that comes from the Word. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth. First of all, we're not approved to man, we're approved to God. We want God's approval, not man's. That's why we study the Word. And then we'll not be ashamed because we found the truth of God's Word. If you follow the truth of God's word, you'll never be embarrassed. You'll never be ashamed. You'll never fall in the hole. 2 Chronicles chapter 30 verse 12. Also in Judah, the hand of God was to give them one heart to do the commandment of the king and of the princes and of the word of the Lord. Folks, we need that motivation of the Bible to keep us going. The commandments of the Lord get out in our heart and stir us and excite us. And we hear the stories of old and they thrill us of what God did in the past. What God did in the past, He certainly can do in the present. Psalms 119 verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against God. We want the word of God so we don't sin, but we serve. And that's our motivation. Our motivation is our love for Him and our appreciation of what He's done for us. So let Him be your motivation, which will be your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.